Hello, this is video number two. Um, the first video, then I showed you how I took my gold and silver um, Winky Stellas and added water on the on the acrylic block, and then I I tapped them and tap spritzed them onto a piece of cardstock. So now I've gone and I've used my my three different size butterfly punches and punched out seven large, seven medium, and seven small. So what I'm doing now is taking all the seven large and taking my gold and I'm just kind of brushing around the outer edge to get a little bit more darker on the on the outer edge. Because I'm gonna stack these all together. So with the three different sizes, and I think that'll be really pretty to have the trim around the outer edges a little bit darker just to define the butterfly. So I'm excited about seeing. All right, so two, two of these left. That'll be neat. But I wanted to bring you along with me. And you can actually make a wink of Stella on your own. All you need is a water brush, some glycerin, some alcohol, rubbing alcohol, and a little bit of eyeshadow, whatever color you choose. And you just need like one little drop of glycerin. And then, I don't know, maybe an eighth of a teaspoon of powder, of your eyeshadow powder. Just a couple scrapings, just scrape, scrape some off. You can play around with that and keep adding more, more or less, depending on which you prefer. And then fill the vial the rest of the way up with, with alcohol. So that's pretty cool. And then because you're using alcohol for it to be moistened, the al alcohol ends up dissipating it. It goes away. So that's pretty cool. Okay, and I'm thinking of doing the, the tiny ones, the gold also. pretty. Here's another one. And you can do the same thing to refill your almost said stink of Stella. <laughs> Wink of Stella, Barbara. <laughs> All you need is once it's emptied out, then you just need to add a little bit of alcohol to it and give it a put the lid back on and give it a good shake and you should be able to, to use that till the You've used it empty again, and then you can add, then you can mix your own mix with the, filling it with alcohol, and just a drop or two of the glycerin. The glycerin you can get it right at Walmart's. Yep, that's pretty cool. All And if you don't have a glue pen, I mean a, a water marker, you can certainly use a regular marker and just mix your mix up right in a little empty like baby food jar or something in a little tiny container. And then you can just dunk your brush in and, and use it and just paint it on rather than using this applicator. All right, so the gold is all done, that's pretty. And I think I might go ahead and do the gold down the body. That's a good idea. All right, let's do this. Yeah, that looks good. Nice idea. Nice, okay, I like that. Okay, now we're gonna do the silver on these ones because they're the, the 
the centerpiece, this medium color or size rather. So I want these one, these to be dust up with the silver. It almost looks black because it's so dark. It goes on looking black, but then once it dries, it looks gray. That's really pretty. Ooh, yes, that's going to be gorgeous. So our timeshare is at Massanutten. The Massanutten Mountains in Virginia. It's so beautiful there. That's the area that I would love to retire and go there. It's just so pretty there. I, I was born in Virginia, in Portsmouth, Virginia, as a matter of fact. And we went back there when I was in the ninth grade, just for a year, and then we came back to Connecticut again. And and I've always wanted to, to move to Virginia. I think that would just be the ideal weather it gets hot but it doesn't does not get humid like it does here that's for sure living here right on the ocean and it's oh it gets stinking hot and humid it just gets unbearable there's times when I I just wake up in the morning and pull the covers off and it's like Wow, go down the stairs and you can feel it already. And as soon as you open up the door, you can see this thick mist outside. It's just nasty hot. You can barely do anything because it's just so stinking hot. And oh, it just makes you nauseous from that humidity. The heat feels nice. The humidity sucks. That's just so uncomfortable one more and then I can put these together that's going to be so pretty Okay, so now let's put these together. How exciting. Alrighty, and I definitely want to 3D them. So let me get some, oops, here I've got some 3D foam right here. So let's cut some of this off. And there, now we can chip away at that. Alrighty, I want to put a piece in. there. Whoops. Get back on there. <laughs> Guess I didn't press it all the way down. All right. There. Then I can put the silver on. Oh, I don't like the way that shows. Hmm. I think I need like half of that piece. Well, good thing to know. All righty, come on, get on there. There, now do the silver one. Oh, that's much better, okay. Ooh, that's pretty. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, now how much of this is gonna show? Will that fit? Yes, if I do it this way. Okay, I need my little tweezers. That's better. Perfect. Oh, yes, immediately. That's pretty. I like it. I like it. What do you think? Isn't that pretty? Wowza. I like the way that looks. I think we need a little bit more gold on the outside 
didn't put enough on there. So let's add a little bit more so you can really see it, especially up around the head area. That's really pretty. Okay, now you can definitely see a difference. What do you think? Isn't that cool? I like that. I like it, like it, like it. Okay, let me check these. Make sure I've got enough of the gold around the outside. Boy, I was really dreaming last night. Dream after dream after dream. better this one maybe just a little bit more around the top that's better yeah my husband is going to retire and just Two and a half years so that'll be nice we're thinking of moving south don't know exactly where yet but he really wants to go to Florida but I definitely do not want to go to Florida so that's just too stinking hot And it's gotten so expensive, it's ridiculous. There, that's much better. Okay. So now let's go ahead and do some more. Okay, so this needs to go on the back side of a little one, which can go on top of a medium one. which can be turned over and this can be placed on top of a large butterfly. The three layered butterflies. I'm liking these. They're so pretty. Yes, they are. Very, very nice. Okay. on the back of a medium Whoop. oh that silver and gold are so pretty together and this one goes in the middle of this oh how pretty I know I say that every single one, but they're just so pretty. I love them. I like it when a plan works. Yes, I do. So what was the, the most recent embellishment that you've made lately? That would be interesting to find out. Leave, let me know in the comments if you don't mind. I would enjoy that, hearing what kind of embellishments you've been making. If you have a favorite one that you like to make, what kind do you like to make? All right, how did I do this? One, two, three, four, and I've got one. Where'd the other ones go? Did I not cut out enough? Or did I knock them on the floor? <laughs> or did the cat walk across them and take them downstairs? 
I guess I'm going to have to do... Did they, I did punch out. Or are they under here? No, they're not. That's really weird. Huh. I punched out seven. I'm wondering where the heck they went. All right, so I need two more. All right, good. There they are. Wah, wah, wah. All righty, so let's put this on. My fingers are all glittery now. That's funny. All right. So this can go in the middle of that one. And this one can go on top of that one. And this can go on this one. And I can take that release paper up and put this one on here. Ta-da! Nice, nice, nice. I want to know what the heck happened to that. Did I lay my... Did I lay this on it? No. That's really... I had to have reached, gotten it on my arm and dropped it. <laughs> I guess I'll find them later when I'm walking around and go sit down on my chair and put my feet up and they'll be stuck to my feet or my legs. Either that or the cats have walked off with them. That has definitely happened also. Grandkids are excited because this weekend is their the fair up at the high school. So that'll be fun for them. They love to run off with their friends and just have a joyous time. Little freedom for mommy and daddy. color those first. All right, good. So I need that gold. Come back, Jack. You know, it's funny, the other day we were, there was a group of us and we were discussing how the things that we used to eat when we were growing up versus what these kids eat today. And we were all talking about, oh, we always had like bean soup at least once a week and <laughs> lots of meat and potato meals. Lots and lots and lots of meat and potato meals. Yep. I didn't do that. Middle on that one. Silly me. It's done now. I'm drinking out of the hoses. The kids would probably look at me real, real funny if I suggested that to them. <laughs> when they were little, I, they did it and they thought it was fun. But I think I'm going to see if I can get them to do it this summer. I bet they won't drink out of the hose. <laughs> yep, probably not. Okay, so here, let's put them on the bottom of this. That way you can see them really good. Minus the cat hair. I'm thinking they do need um, some little, a little gem in the middle too. What do you think? Pretty, pretty nifty, huh? You can't really see it really good view of it though but you get the gist alrighty so let's get out the gems and see what kind of gems we have alrighty oh and we do have these teardrop ones and I do have those gold ones or do I want oh I could do a little baby pearl just a simple baby pearl would be so pretty let's do that alrighty 
somebody sent these to me and I've never seen them so little like this. Somebody sent this in one of my very first flat rack attacks and I've been hoarding them because I don't want them to go away because they're just so pretty. I'm trying to keep my eyes open so I can see where she found them from. All right, get off of my finger. There you go. Oh, that is so pretty. Oh my goodness, yes, yes, yes. I do like that. What a simple idea. All right, I gotta lift these up to show them to you. Just the little pearls, how pretty are they? Ooh, just a pearl. That's so plain and simple, yet very pretty. I think they look very classy looking. I like those with the little pearl. Okay, so I've got five more pearls to add and then I'll be done with this video. There's one. And here's two. And three. How pretty. Oh, and our grandson Avery was so excited today because Papa went and picked him up and and uh, he got to come over and do the lawn again and earn some money. And then Papa took him for lunch at McDonald's so he could try the new, we have some milkshake with, um, oh, pretzels. Chocolate and pretzels in it. And and Avery's going, I'm sorry, Grandma, that you can't try it because you can't you can't eat chocolate. And I'm like, that's okay. I don't mind at all. I really don't mind. It's been so long that I really don't even remember what chocolate tastes like. <laughs> All right, these came out really pretty. I am impressed. Alrighty, so let's hold these up once again and see. You can see them any better. Let me see if I can move this light over more. Does that make it better? I guess it does a little bit. Definitely gives it more of a shadow, that's for sure. What do you think of those? All right. Well, if you like this idea, please give me a thumbs up. And until we meet again, happy crafting. Bye-bye.